And the time will come, sir, the Lord, that I will rain down my spirit upon the face of the earth. And I will cause the visitation, said the spirit of the Lord, that I shall rain from heaven. Fire, said the Lord. And my anointing shall be upon shall be upon the heads of my servants, the prophets, and the apostles, said the Lord, and to my ministry that I have ordained from the foundation of the world, said the Lord. For I will spread my hands, said the Lord, and I will stretch forth my hands in this moment and in this hour, said the Lord. When I will turn around and turn things around, and I will shift the atmosphere for my people. And I will bless those that are Yabushanda, those that are in Abakitori Abasa, those that trust in me, those that have been focused in the last moment, those that have been tried and tested, say the Lord. Glory. I'm Lord because a great awakening and a great outpouring of my spirit, say the Lord, shall I pour upon the heads of my people. And I will bring my people out of the wilderness, say the Lord. And I will cause it to rain. I will cause it to rain, yeah. said the Lord, upon the heads of my people. For thus said the Lord, all of your ditches, said the Lord, and all of your dry valleys, said the Lord, shall be filled again, said the Spirit of Almighty God. Uramando Shamanda. Uramando Shamanda. Yes, Uramando. Uramando Shamanda. For the Lord will seal off in this hour, and the Lord will seal in this hour, said God. And as I seal off my spirit, shall the light itself in the midst of my people and in the midst of my house, said the Lord. Mm. Bless God tonight. Oh, bless God tonight in the house. In the house, yes, yes, yes. and we want to honor the Lord for His presence in the house. Yes. Yes. We thank Him for being with us tonight. Yes. I want to bring great greetings to the senior pastor and the person of Apostle the elect prophet Sean Taylor and to his companion. Would you stand up and give God a praise as we celebrate with them and in signs and wonders global prophetic ministry as they celebrate the fifth year of church's anniversary. Let's bless God for them in a very special way. My God, what is this thing?
Yes, Lord Jesus, I want to honor the Lord tonight for these great women and men of God that is here tonight. These great pastors and prophets. Praise the Lord. Pastor, my good senior, one of my senior Lord and the Lord. And, and I want to thank God for them here tonight. And the person, praise the Lord, our prophetess. Hallelujah. Hope in and and prophetess, apostle, my God, 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 my the my God, 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 my Praise God, who's our you, Pastor? Yes. Our gentleman, my other son. Praise the Lord, somebody. And I want to give high honor to my bishop. As we, you know, I asked the Lord to give me a quick anointed man of God. Amen. You know, and as I told Bishop, I said, Bishop, I got to go by my God. Aye, aye, aye. Prophet Taylor, my God. Apostle Taylor tonight. He said to me, go honey, go ahead and give him, give him a boost. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. Praise the Lord. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank and it's been a long time. Amen. But I must say, times works within time. Yes. And when time catch up on you, you can't do nothing with that. You can't, you can't. You just got to honor time. Yes. Time is something you have to honor. Even if you don't want to honor it, you have to honor it. Yes. So y'all give me a quick push up for the night. Let the fire keep rolling. Yes. Praise the Lord. I don't know what this is. I fell upon my soul. Yes, all of God's children, all of my armor bearers, praise the Lord. And I love this, and Jude only has one chapter, and team for this fifth year's church's anniversary, contending for the faith. Yes, this is her. Small matter, but it's powerful. It is very powerful. Yes, this letter that we're about to open to you just drive all the way from Genesis and it ends right up in Revelation. That's how powerful it is. That's where it drags now. May you bow your head. I know the power of God is here. I know he's here. But let's just pray. God, we give you praise, thanks, honor, and glory right now. My God. Oh, God. My Lord. Hear us. Bless us, Lord, right now. Honor your word. And as you esteem us with that oil, fire of anointing. An anointing. An anointing. An anointing. An anointing. An anointing. An anointing. This word, this vessel of clay, just one more time to deliver this word. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, may I decrease and you increase. Speak to us through your word. Let us be blessed continually because you're already here blessing us right now. Bless this word even greater. In the name of Jesus, I pray. For the glory of God. Let's bless the Lord again. You know, when you think about contending for the faith, is something that you want to take notice of. In other words, you are competing in order to win. And in order to win, you have to fight. I want to give a little brief history about the book of Jude, this letter. Now, a lot of people call it Jude because of being so many translations to the Bible. In the book of Jude, I want to start from just the third verse 
and then we'll preach. Behold, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye shall earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. Now a lot of people don't know that this Jude, meaning Judah, because of the Greek and the Hebrew, so it's Judah. It was one of Jesus' four brothers. These brothers, these brothers did not follow. I want to say Messiah. My God. Wow. They didn't follow him as the Messiah. My God. Just before his death. But when they saw his resurrection. My God. After they saw that he got up. Yeah. Talk about Jude and the other three brothers of Christ. They became his disciples. All of these brothers become leaders in the Jewish Christian community. I told you it's why. This letter was really made up for the Messianic Jews. Now when you heard about the word Messianic and Messianic, it means the suffering Christ. Come on! And Jude or Judah he was known as a traveling missionary. Well, well, well. This letter was sent to the Messianic Jewish nation. Yes. Messianic being Christ the sufferer. Yes. So when he addressed this letter, letting them know you got to contend for the faith. Yes. Now some of the Jews did not believe no. that Jesus was the Christ. Yes, Lord. They did not believe he was the Messiah. No. They did not know he was the Messianic and the Messianic seven according to Isaiah. No. Now I saw Judah, he become aware of the Christian churches. Yes, Lord. He began to open up with a church, followed by a long warning. Let's go with it. Yes, yes. Of corruption. Oh and corruption teachers. All right, come on. Who was trying to influence the church. The Messianic church. Church of Christ. You can put it a bit, give me 10 more minutes and I'll be down. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And in his closing words that he told the church. Yes. Now nobody really knew what church. Because he was already known as a traveling missionary. Yes. So he made a stop wherever was needed to be made. He stopped and delivered the gospel. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Oh, God, I feel it. So what amazed me? 
Yes, Lord. And when he saw the false teachers, they were in Jesus' days too. And that's why when Jesus was teaching his disciples just before he leave, he said, be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. In other words, be aware of their false teaching. Now do hear me here? My Lord. So he told the Jewish church,
Oh! 
So that's why I'm trying to be handy, but that bit, a little bit, just a little bit. I saw a ship in your soul. I saw a ship in your spirit. I saw a ship down in the center of every bone in your body. And as I look and saw the ship, maybe it's I saw the eye of the Lord point in, not on your head, but in every bone that is in your body. I saw the Lord pouring oil 
over you tonight. So I the Lord will be upon you. The Lord told you when I gathered him. He said, there's been a long time coming that he has laid his hands on you. He said, there's been a long time coming that he now thyself. Ooh, yes. To get your attention. And your attention is to continually to be upon him. If you trust him, fear the Lord. Great and marvelous things shall happen for you in the latter days of this ministry. If you keep your hands in my hands, said the Lord, great and outpouring of my spirit shall be upon you. If you continue to strive the way that I ask of you to strive, I will do the things that you ask of me. If you continue to walk and follow me, and I will direct your pathway, said the Spirit of the Lord. If you lean on me and not in anything else, not even yourself, I will lead you safely forth, said the Spirit of the Lord. There is an anointing you can call by God. But you have a lot of fight. You're going to be tried greater. You're going to be tested, said the Lord, even right here. During the month of August and September, October and November and December, it's going to be a time to fight, said the Spirit of Almighty God. And when you finish fighting and the battle be won by the fight that you will go through, and the trials, said the Lord, that you will face, great shall be the victory in the month of January 20th. How about that? I will cause my spirit to walk and talk with you if you just obey all that I say unto you. Not only what you hear tonight, all the voice of the Lord, but all that I've given unto you. If you will follow, oh my God, follow, follow closely. I will do all that I promise, but you must first follow, and then I will give unto you all other things that need to be added. Not very long, not very long from here. I'm a greater one. A greater work, not very long. A different site for your ministry to be coming. This will not be the same place that you now sit in tonight for this ministry. It's a shift to a different location. Said the Spirit of Almighty God. When a few minutes, you will know that I, the Lord, have opened my mouth unto you and have delivered my words to you. Said the Spirit of the Lord. You must take up this shoe. There's several times the Lord wants you to take up this shoe. And any time you feel to take up your shoe and preach with your shoes off, God said to obey. For he knows what he's doing. He's good now, yes, He's making the pathway. He called us to walk with him, said the Spirit of Almighty God. And as you obey me, said the Lord, I will come and bless you. I will cause my breath to blow upon this house. I will cause my breath, said the Lord, to blow upon you. But I say unto you, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Fire will set. Follow me. With everything that lies within me. Follow. Set the Lord. But there will be days when I will ask of you to break yourself. And there will be days of you when I will ask you to consecrate yourself greater than you ever been before. I say unto you this hour, follow me. And I'll make you great. I'm greater. Say this. Somebody was comfortable with me. I'm um, telling for the, the prophets right there. I'm, I'm passing on to um come on, come on, babies. Come on, stand up for me. Could you help me tonight? I'm putting the transformation. I brought you out. No kind to you. You better take up those shoes. Y'all better take up this shoe. You better get out of here. Let me help you this transformation of this one. Sir! Fire was You are helping to make your hurt. Fire was The anointing of the Lord will be upon you. The anointing of the Lord. Should be upon you. I'm gonna stand, y'all. Don't let them hurt from me. The Lord told me to do this for my walk in and be met. Yes, I'm not gonna to touch you, but you will let God touch. Raise your hands, lift it high, and the spirit of the Lord is upon you tonight. And God will bring you out. This is the last days when God will shift your ministries. 
then God will fix the unfixable, and God will move the unmovable, and God will constantly, that's it, the time will come, when you will have to reach over, they will come running to you, and ask if you what to do, what to say, what do you want us to do, for the Lord will take you in strange places, and so yeah, yeah, strange lands and strange countries, so the Lord order your feet to go, the Lord will visit you, the Lord will cause you to be visited by his Holy Spirit, and by the holy angels from above, send the ambassador, send the spirit of the Lord. This is an awakening hour for my servants, said the Lord. And I'm about to wake them up, but this is the final hour. And this is just the dawning time of a new day. The dawning time, and I will wake them up, said the Lord, and I will make the low to become high. And I will cast the high to come low. And this I will say the spirit of the Lord. Right about now, the spirit of God is upon you right now. And I come down by.
Everybody just get the back in front of me. Come move quickly. Learn to move in the spirit movement. I don't want to accept it. I hear what y'all say. You know when he speaks to me. And if you will pay his voice, know his voice. All over this place, I want you to come with that $20 stand. I want you to come with that $20 stand. All over this place, come, 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 come. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Show my own name. All over this place.